Welcome to Programming with Professor Califf. Today I want to talk about inserting items into a sorted array in Java. So we're looking at the same kind of situation that we had in the last video, but the one difference that the array is sorted. And we're going to assume that that's in ascending order. So here's an example. I have eight items in my array in the list. So the last two items, I don't know, I don't care. It's the same kind of situation. But in this case, my items, as you can see, are sorted. And now I want to insert something into the list. So that's going to be a four-step process. I'm first going to need to find where I want the item to go. So given that the list is in order, I need to figure out which index this spot could fit in. But then if I just put it there, I'm going to be overriding something that's already in the array. So I'm going to need to make some room. I'm going to need to shove some things over. Then I'll actually put the item in the array and increase my number of items. So the first step is finding where this goes. And this is going to be a lot like the find that we've already done where we're looking for something in the array. So we're first going to look at the first spot. If what we're looking at is bigger, we know that it should fit here and we'll need to move that bigger thing over. If we run out of room, if num items is equal to the spot we're wanting to look at, then we know we're just going to stick it at the end of our list, same as we did for our unordered array case. So we look at the first one, look at the second one, Compare the seven, we're trying to insert 10, so we still haven't found the spot. Try to insert it here, nine is still smaller than 10. When we get to the 11, we see 10 is smaller than the 11. So index four is the spot where our thing should go. So let's look at what that looks like in code so far. We're gonna start by saying, okay, well, I'm gonna start looking for the index at which I want to insert, which I'm calling ins index here, and that'll start at zero. Then as long as that index is less than num items, because if we get to the point where we're equal to num items, then we found the place where it should go. And the value I want to insert, so the 10 in this case, is greater than or equal to the array at that index. So generally speaking, when we're putting something new in, we're gonna put it after anything else with the same value. Then I'm going to increase ends index. So that walked us through the array until we found the spot. So in this case, ends index will end up being four. But then we can't put it right here. So we need to start making room. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to go to the end of my list and I'm gonna move the 33 over. I'm gonna copy the 33 into the next spot. And then I'm gonna copy the 24 over. And then I'm going to copy the 12 over. And then the 11. And at this point, I now can put the 10 into the spot at four safely because I've moved all the other values over. So I do that. And finally, I increase the number of items so that I know that my whole list goes from zero to eight instead of zero to seven. So what does this code look like? We're going to have a for loop that's going to start at num items, which was that eight where we put the 33 to start with for our example. And we're going to count down until we get to the last spot after ints index. And we're going to copy into the array at i from the array at i minus 1. So the first time we copied the 33 from 7 to 8, then we copied the 24 from 6 to 7, and the 12 from 5 to 6, and then the 11 from 4 to 5, leaving the 4 open. So then we're simply going to insert the val to insert at that insertion index we found, and finally increase num items. So that's what it takes to insert into an ordered list. 
Thanks for watching. In the next video, we're going to talk about one way to sort our array, specifically selection sort.